watching Snake Pit. It's a cool show where people try to sell their ideas to investors, the snakes. Come on, snakes. The squirrel be gone is a great idea. Not if you're a squirrel. Are squirrels really that big of a deal? Oh, I hate rodents. I love it. Count me in. Wow, fantastic. Another lucky inventor is on his way to living the dream. I want to live the dream. Hey, are you the kind of kid who has a lot of crazy ideas? Yes. Then bring him down to Snake Pit Jr. Same great show, but with kids. We're coming to your town looking for the next great idea. Is it yours? Oh, it is. I've got a killer idea for Snake Pit. You guys don't stand a chance. <laughs> no way, man. The snakes are gonna love my Brain Gamer device. My idea is gonna blow them away. What do you got? Don't have one yet. So, on the show, the snakes always go for cool products that solve everyday problems. Oh, that's hot. And that's why I've invented the soup cooler. You simply clip this small fan onto the side of the bowl, and presto. In just seconds, the soup will... We'll be all over the room. Or I can just blow on it. How about a kitty carry-all? Um, how about no? Ready for an alarm clock that literally kicks you out of bed? What time did you set it for? I can't remember. Huh? Pass. What about a triple-sided ping-pong paddle? Oh! No worries. Plenty more ideas where that came from. Check it out. No warning nuggets. Regular pretzel nuggets, but in the mix are some really spicy ones. Huh? Water? Need, need water! <laughs> now, I've seen every episode of Snake Pit, and I'll tell you what the judges love as much as a good product, a good service. Okay, popular services. Mowing the lawn, babysitting, dog walking. I've got it! A blow-up-your-balloon service. I'm tired. <sighs> Whew, I'm dizzy. This will never work. <laughs> Angelo, can you keep an eye on your brother for a few minutes? Right now? But, uh, Mom, I'm busy coming up with ideas for Snake Pit. Oh, I love that show. You know, you should really talk to Peter. He has some great ideas. Have fun, and thanks, dear. Okay, how about this? Ah, that was already pitched in the second season. Ugh, ugh, so annoying. My mom makes me watch Peter all the time. Aww. Sweet. I'd love to have a brother like Peter. Really? Well, you can have him for free. Anytime. Lola, we'd have so much fun together. We could go to the park. Play video games? Watch Cuddle Farm? I could give him sisterly advice. And an ice cream and cupcakes. <laughs> Sounds perfect to me. Me too. You know, I bet a lot of people would love to have a brother like Peter. For a limited time, of course. It's perfect. Okay, people, we're the judges helping Snake Pit Jr. find contestants from our school. When I call your name, come up and tell us your business idea. First up is Schmitty. Schmitty? Okay, Brofoot, check it. My invention is like a plastic tube that you attach to the faucet and it carries water. You mean a hose? Oh, they already invented that? You're not even a student here. Technically, I never graduated. How about something soft to rest your head on at night? That thing is called a pillow. Next. Oh, dang it. That's one down. Minetti. And here we have the smack sack. Ooh, I like the art aspect of that. Yeah, I get mad when Butterfingers doesn't let me copy off them. That's the inspiration. Copy? That's cheating. For that reason, I'm out. Let me demonstrate. Oh, that's too violent. I don't like that. I'm out. Oh, no one understands my vision. Man. And that's two. Next up, Angelo. My idea is called hang out with my brother. You know, for those times when you want a brother, family, someone you trust. Hmm, not much of an inventory. Angelo, what if I want a sister? Um, not a problem. Hmm, not bad. So, I'm on the show, right? I'm convinced. Hey, guys! I got picked to be on Snake Pit Jr. So we're gonna be on TV! What do you mean, weird? I pitched them my idea where you and Peter spend time with other people and pretend you're their siblings. They're so weird. If I do well in the show, I could become a multi-mega super jackpot millionaire! Oh my god, sure. I'm out. 
I'll split the profits 50-50. And back in! When's the show? What about me? What do you want? I'll do it if you take the middle seat in the car from now on. What? Okay, middle seat for two weeks, okay? Three weeks, and I get to play with Gold Guy. Fine. And now it's time for the show you kids have been waiting for, Snake Pit Jr. Let's meet the snakes. World-renowned British performer, occasional activist, and one half of the band Slobber, Eddie Van Slobber. Hey, all right, yeah. And all the way from the Sugar Shack, successful sweet shop owner, Cupcake Kathy. Thank you, thank you very much. And skating guru with his own line of boards and an all-around cool dude, Ollie Van Dunk. What's going on, yeah? Now for our first contestant, a warm welcome for Butterfingers. Say goodbye to messy hands when you're eating pizza. And say hello to pizza on a stick. No, cobs and sticks don't go together. For that reason, I'm out. It's just a slice of pizza on a stick. I'm out. All right, looks pretty tasty. Hmm. Ow! Oh! Out! I'm out! Ah! Oh, failure, my constant companion. Next up, a young entrepreneur with a tech design, Ethan. Snakes, I'm here to tell you about a revolutionary high-tech device that will change your life. This is something I like to call implant in the head. Wow, that sounds like a winner. Yeah, right. This small device will be implanted in your brain so you can experience a video game in your mind. No wires, no controllers. Hours will go by, and you'll accomplish nothing. Just game happiness. But what if you need an update? That would require surgery. Well, what happens when it needs to be charged? Another surgery. Slobber doesn't do hospitals. Slobber out. Oh, same here. Righteous, yeah. But I live in the real, not the virtual, so hey, for that reason, I'm out. Our next entrepreneur just might become the world's youngest gazillionaire. Let's welcome Angelo. Let's do this thing. Hello, snakes. Allow me to introduce you to today's best idea. Hang out with a sibling. Whoa, that's that sounds cool. right. I like that. Yeah. This is the first ever app that helps you hang with a sibling when you really need one and you don't have one. Allow me to demonstrate. You're home, you need another player. You need a sibling! Oh, let me tell you, man. I've been there. I'll be player number two! Or, you want to talk about some family secrets. You need a sibling! Ugh! My mom is driving me crazy! I hear ya. Need some help folding. Aw, oh, that's genius. Everything is better with a sibling. Tennis, seesaws, pillow fights, chess, snack time, getting into PG-13 movies. I miss my sister. In fact, studies show that younger siblings rarely get punished as much as older ones. So, the next time you break a vase, just blame it on a younger brother that's not really your brother. Works every time. You know, I was an only child. So I ask you, snakes. Anyone want to invest in my idea? I want to invest in your business. Huh? Really? Whoa, so do I. Whoa, what about Cupcake Kathy's? I'm in it too. So, Angela, all the snakes are interested. Which one are you going to go with? Can I have a minute to discuss this with my partners? Ollie Van Dunk is the snake to go with. I like Slobber. <laughs> he has a funny name. What? That's a dumb reason. Don't call me dumb. I was thinking Cupcake Kathy. I can see this business really means something to her. That's a stupid reason. What is stupid about that? You're stupid. Don't call me stupid. <laughs> stupid. Dude, my sister and I used to bicker like that. Once she hit me with a fork, you can still see the scar, you see? Yeah, you know, my brother and I still fight. He always wants to be the front man, his way or the highway. Ah, oh, man, come to think of it, I couldn't last 20 minutes in a room with my siblings. Holidays, forget it. You know, the only reason I'm even here is because my brother made me do it. Who needs more of that? I'm out. That's a terrible idea. Do I like that idea? I'm crazy. Dude, Ollie out. What? Angelo, the snakes are taking back their offers. Can they do that? They sure can, but it's okay. We've still got Cupcake Kathy. I'm starting to rethink this too, Angelo. Maybe family's not so great. No! Cupcake Kathy, wait! You can have a larger percentage of the company. Anything, what do you want? 100%. 
I'd like to buy you out completely. Done! So, I divided up the money from Kathy's investment between Elena, Peter, and myself, and then ended up investing my portion into Butterfinger's Pizza on a Stick business. Anyone want some pizza? Dude, what happened to Pizza on a Stick? I took the sticks out. So, what's it called now? Pizza. Hmm. Huh. Clever. <laughs> Sometimes, it's better to invest than invent. Look at us, father and son, bonding. I thought we were just cleaning out the garage. Well, yeah, but we're doing it together. So basically the same thing. Not really, Dad. Potato, potato. <laughs> I don't think that's how that expression works, Dad. No, 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 no. Potato, potato was the name of the band I always dreamed of starting. <laughs> potato, potato? It was goofy, but I was 13. I wanted to quit school and become a rock star. Cool. What happened? Ah. My parents said it was a ridiculous idea and I should focus on school and get a good job. And that's why I'm always telling you to follow your dreams. You've literally never said that. No? Well, follow your dreams. I want to become a pool hustler. No. An internationally acclaimed graffiti artist. No. A rock star. Come on, that's ridiculous. Focus on school and get a good job. You know what? Dad's right. It's not about the school and job stuff, but about following your dreams. <laughs> And that's why I'm going to give him the rock and roll experience he never got to have. It's like I've always said, dreams do come true. If you have a son like me. Welcome everybody to your first day at Rock University. Rock you! Yeah, like a hurricane! <laughs> Our goal, turn you into a rock star. Will all this be on the test? There's no test. But there will be a kick butt concert! Woo woo! Concert! Ah! Oh, uh, okay, how much does the uh, kick butt concert count toward my final grade? Why don't we get started? Now, class, what is it that makes a rock star? Uh, rocking out? <laughs> it's not that simple. Woo! Pie! This pie chart shows the three A's that are integral to being a rock star attitude, appearance, and antics. Woo! Sounds complicated, Professor Sherwood. Oh, it is, Dr. Angelo. If any part of it is slightly off, the result can be catastrophic, or even disco. Ha! Disco blow snot! Let's start with attitude, Professor Lola. Right. Lesson one, be rebellious. Raising your hand ain't rebellious. You gotta say, yo, dude! Yo, dude, may I please go to the boys' room, please? Ugh, let's fix that voice. Say, I'd like a spike to strike me motorbike. I'd like a spike to strike my motorbike. I'd like a spike to strike my motorbike. He's got it! I do believe he's got it! Yes, I got it! <laughs> yeah, whatever. Nice. A third of the way there. Next up, Appearance. Okay, I know it's your first day, but think hardcore. Like punk? But what kind of punk? Steam? Funk? It's been scientifically proven that whatever kind it is, it should end in O. Techno, neo, afro, polo. Dad always wears polo shirts. We just have to make some slight adjustments. Ta-da! Polo punk, combining the anti-establishment of punk with the bland conformity of suburbia. Righteous. Sweet. It is so disgusting. Once again, my plan is working out flawlessly. Angela! You didn't really think we'd get through this without Tracy showing up, did you? So, Angelo, you thought you could hold a battle of the bands and not have me hear about it? <laughs> huh? Battle of the... Ha! Double ha! 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 Listen, Potato Potato's just having a little concert. Was having a little concert, but now it's a battle of the bands. There's no battle. You don't even like rock and roll. I don't like beet soup, but that didn't stop me from winning the borscht contest. Ha! I beat you! Get it? Beat? <laughs> no one beats Tracy Flickinger at anything. Especially not rock and roll. And especially not you. Yeah? Well, guess what? We're going to mop the floor with your band. Oh, yeah? 
You and Tomato Tomato are going to get killed, crushed, and blended into marinara. It's Potato Potato, and you don't even have a band! Uh, what just happened? I'll tell you what just happened. This just got very real. Let's go, people! I want to see the rock rockier! I want to see the roll rollier! Time for a crash course in stage antics. I've reprogrammed this dance your pants off game with all the moves of slobber. Slobber rolls! Woo! All right, Mr. K, just do exactly what they do on the screen. I think I'm blind! It's okay, Dad. Your eyes are closed. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be too easy. No, 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 no! Yeah, more snarl! Push it! Oh, my lips grab Now whip the guitar around you and catch it! Oh, oh. Um, dear? How, how was your day? Oh, let's go. Oh, I can't eat this rubbish. <laughs> I don't want to eat this rubbish either. Peter, stop that. Angelo, what is going on with your dad? Eh, probably just going through a phase. Dads, am I right? I came right over when I got your call. I called four hours ago. Well, at my age, four hours is right over. So, what do you think? Leather Monkeys as dad's backing band? Ooh, let me check. Hey, Larry, when's our next gig? Well, guess we'll do it. Sweet. You guys are now Potato Potato. What kind of name is that? What kind of name is Leather Monkeys? It's go time. Show me your groove, Pop. <laughs> you do know how to play the guitar. No. Why? No reason. Except that you dreamed of being a rock star. Yeah, dreamed. That's why I got the guitar. Even tried to learn for a week. Crutters. You can't learn guitar in a week? Well, that's not what they told me at the music store. But anyway, who cares? It's all about attitude, appearance, and antics, right? Guess we forgot the fourth A. Actually playing music. Well, at least we don't have to worry about Tracy. She doesn't know how to play anything. Hello, losers. Say hi to my band. Slobber! <gasps> you can't... Do you know who she is? Yeah. She's the one who threatened to tell everyone our real names if we didn't agree to be her band. What are your real names? I'm awful. He's Percy. And Slobber ain't even our last name. It's Waddington. Oh, break a leg. For real. I guess in trying to beat Tracy, I let things get kind of out of hand. Now Dad's going to go out there in front of everyone and be humiliated. Unless? Unless. Set off a stink bomb, and everybody runs out, and then we put something in the town's water that makes everyone forget this happened. There's that, or something that's not insane. Sherwood doesn't get back. Is that a stink bomb? You saw nothing. <sighs> All right, I synced the dance controller to a synthesizer on the guitar. That seems unnecessarily complicated. Hello, that's why they're called antics. As long as I keep up with the game, your dad will continue to shred. Next act, uh, potato platoon! Get ready to rock! I call this next number, Sabotage. Face 
ice is melting. That means one thing. We've got a winner! This was your fault. You're fired! Thank you. That's a relief. This concert was supposed to be about me. A benefit for me! Well, Dad, how'd it feel to be a rock star? Yeah, whatever. Okay, you can stop with the accent and the attitude now, Dad. I can't. I tried. Can't. Ugh, could be worse. Hey, you play hockey? Nah, it's your mother's. Dreamed of playing professional, she did. Like I've always said, sometimes it's just better to let dreams be dreams. Sleep overnight with my best buds. I'm not too early, am I? Tell me I'm not the first one here. Wait, is tonight the right night? Get your button fingers in here, butterfingers. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Butter toes! <laughs> <laughs> uh, what it is, bro flake? Let it happen, Captain. <laughs> tonight is gonna be epic. Bigger than epic. got my boys here. Epic sleepover rule number one. No girls allowed. Yes, this even means Lola. Hey, nice new phone, Ange. You could use it to call me and tell me how much fun you're having at your sleepover. Without me. Lola, you know, I have a... No, it's okay. I'm not really into fun all that much anyway. Lola, I... It's not like that. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Ange. I know the deal. Epic sleepover rule number one. Duh. So... You're not mad? How could I be? I didn't invite you to my all-girls sleepover. Same rules apply. You know you'll always be one of the guys, right? Even if you're not uh, a guy. Stop. We're cool. Have fun. Before we get to epic sleepover rule number two, there's a phantom rule two which states everyone should eat dinner at home beforehand since not everyone has the same tastes or utensils. Some kids have allergies and most importantly, no one can blame my mom if, you know, the food's bad. Oh, well. <laughs> Just saying. So, let's see, where was I? Right, epic sleepover rule number two, for real. An even number of guests. This will make it easier to break up into teams for all games and activities. <laughs> epic sleepover rule number three. Get rid of the siblings. <laughs> Through the careful choice of vocabulary, using oh, words like on. four 11-year-old be... boys. For older sisters, works great. For younger brothers, just arrange their own sleepover. Sure. You, get uh, you can't yeah. escape me. Uh, you're never uh, yeah. Epic sleepover rule 3A. Get rid of the parents. Sorry, Dad. You gotta be shorter than this line to enter the sleepover. Oh, oh man. So close. Maybe I'll be short enough next year. Epic sleepover rule 3B. Definitely get rid of Mom. Now, boys, you know the rules. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Look. We all love our moms. And if you're watching out there, moms, we really do. But we all know the speech by heart. And then lights out. If you need anything, just holler. We'll have to come back to getting rid of mom a little later. Epic sleepover rule number four. Establish party HQ. Spreading the couch cushions around the floor does the trick. Which brings us to an essential cornerstone of every successful sleepover. Rule number four A. Glow in the dark everything. Ah. And rule 4B, bring your own flashlight. Since you're likely to be up all night, in spite of the promise you made to your mom. Epic sleepover rule number five. Play the newest, hottest video game. Ethan here managed to snag Flamethrower Bunny 7. Return of the Flame. Oh, this, this is, is amazing. amazing. Flamethrower Look at the graphics, dude. Cool. Who wants healthy snacks? Mmm, I want some. Mmm, food. Ah, give me, oh, give me this. Food, of course, is always welcome. But mom's presence should be kept to a minimum. The way to quickly get rid of mom is to accept the food. You don't have to eat it. Mm. Guys, mm. hey, save some Tasty. for me. Epic sleepover rule number six. Homemade board games. Sherwood made one called Escape from Detention. I should be great at this. Yeah, man. You guys are gonna love it. 
imitate a helicopter to get out of detention. Huh. Ah, repeat, we've been hit! We have been hit! Mayday, mayday! Ah, I'm falling! Crash! <laughs> we and Mr. Foots are racers. <laughs> Epic sleepover rule number seven. Truth or dare? I wrote the questions ahead of time for maximum embarrassment. Okay, sure. Ask away. Do you sleep with a stuffed animal or a blankie? I sleep with my electronics. But that's to protect them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my turn. A dare. Okay. Smell the feet of everyone in the room and rank them from best to worst. <laughs> Wet dog. <laughs> <laughs> Burnt cheese. <laughs> Ugh, gorilla fart. <laughs> By best to worst, do you mean best at smelling not so bad or best at smelling the worst? Don't matter, dude. Gorilla fart wins. <laughs> <laughs> Epic sleepover rule number eight. In spite of the cliche, the pillow fight remains a favorite. <laughs> hey, you think you guys could cool it down there? I'm going to bed. Ugh. Not fun. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, okay, yeah. We're going to sleep now, Mom. Promise. Angela, we're not really going to sleep, are we? Nope. We still have the final phase of the most epic sleepover ever. It's epic sleepover rule number X. Epic sleepover rule X is technically not a number. The prank call with my new phone. Excuse me, sir. Is your refrigerator running? My refrigerator running? Of course, it's running. It's running. It's fine. Don't you look a Edison? I, it's running fine. Well, Who is why this? don't you catch it? <laughs> <laughs> Good call. <laughs> yeah, figured I'd go with a classic to kick things off. Your turn, Eve. Oh, you better have a good reason for waking me up. geezer has got face chat turned on. Oh, he can see us. Use the digital disguise app. What's that you say? You have any idea what time it is? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, <laughs> nice. We were doing a study on regional accents, and we were wondering if you'd like to participate. I don't have time for that. Excellent. Our first word is house. Can you say house? Huh? House. Huh, house. Good. Now let's say broccoli. Broccoli. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> now try booger, mucus, and, uh, hmm, gorilla fart. Booger, <laughs> mucus. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I can't. Hello. Is that you, my little daffodil? Smoochie, smoochie. Is that you, Angelo? Go! Yo, Angelo, who was. <gasps> Did you, Tracy? Oof. Brutal, Ange. Brutal. Yeah, Angelo. Sorry. Better call it a night. Did I mention the last epic sleepover rule? Make sure everyone has the best time ever. No regrets. And yes, that includes me. <laughs> hey, <laughs> cut it out. It's not funny. <laughs> You're right. It's hilarious. <laughs> Please get serious, Lola. I need your help. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's go through the possible options, then. Ignore the situation. Result? Ah! Tracy will tell everyone, and you'll be humiliated. Try to cover it up. But you know all of Tracy's calls are on auto-record. Result? Tracy will have proof, and you'll be humiliated. Or embrace your mistake. You're joking, right? No, I'm not. Just apologize to Tracy. 
The result will be embarrassing and possibly physically painful, but it appears to be the only solution. Ugh. Okay, let's do this thing. You can do it, Ange. It's your only option. Must do it. For the good of the sleepover. Do the right thing, Angelo. Knock! Now's your chance, Angelo. Run for your life. Knock! Run! Knock! Run! Knock! Run! Knock! Run! Knock! Run! Knock! Enough! Angelo, you never prank called Tracy. Although I wasn't invited to the sleepover, I knew you'd end up doing M rule number X. So I changed my name in your speed dial to Tracy while pretending to admire your new phone. In reality, you actually called me last night thinking it was Tracy. Booyah! And I do a pretty mean impression of her, if I do say so myself. Well, there you have it. History in the making. Lola just invented the reverse prank call. Pff, pure genius! Remind me to add epic sleepover rule number 10. Always invite Lola. <laughs> Could Mr. Foot be more boring? Totally, man. I'd rather watch paint dry. My uncle, Mr. Foot, is not boring. <laughs> no, he's the chairman of the board. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Ange. Uh, well, well, if he's so boring, then why was he just named uh, uh, Teacher of the Year? Huh? Really? That's like a thing? Uh, yes, and he's finally getting the recognition he deserves. It's not easy having to teach dull students like you. Mm. Whatever. Besides, what has anyone in your family ever done, Angelo? Huh? Huh? Nothing. I bet nothing. And ignore her, Angelo. She's just trying to get under your skin. Yeah, come on, let's go. That's right. Just go back to your mediocre family. <laughs> no one is supposed to know about this, but my dad was just recently named Stuntman of the Year. By the, um... International Stuntman's Association. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Did you hear that? He's He's right. Jalo, what are you doing? Yeah, you realize you just said that out loud, right? I might have gone just a little too far. And the rules of the yard are clear. I can't back down now. Otherwise, I'll forever be branded liar. Hmm. So I'm guessing your dad's Stuntman of the Year news will be online? Oh, sorry. Does your last name start with a K or a C? Well, actually, the official press is on hold until the ceremony in, um, three months. Oh, I see. <laughs> Sounds like a big lie to me. It's not, Tracy. And I'll prove it. <laughs> Look, Angelo, I think you bit off a little more than you can chew this time. I mean, your dad is... Not only not a stuntman, he's one of the clumsiest people in the universe. <laughs> Seriously, Angelo, if your dad ever did win an award, he'd fall on the way to deliver his acceptance speech. Trust me, I have a plan. Isn't that what the captain of the Titanic said? A, we'll fake a news story about my dad and plant it online. I'm on it. I'm all about the buzz. B, we'll shoot a video of my dad making him look and sound like a real stuntman without him knowing what we're up to. Did someone say video? Let's do this thing. And he's rumored to be the recipient of the coveted Stuntman of the Year Award. Nice. But give my dad a mustache. Too bushy? Just a tad. Hmm. Handlebar? Hipster? Wild West? I got tons of video clips where your dad looks like the Stuntman, if you're not looking too closely. Sweet. Now we just gotta pair him up with some sound bites. Making a sandwich, I love bread. Make sandwich. Hey, Dad, I'm making a getting to know you short film for a school project. Do you mind answering a few questions? No, no, not at all, son. Shoot. Okay, here goes. What was the most embarrassing situation you've ever been in? Hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> Got quite a few of those. Let's see. Most embarrassing. Oh, that would probably have to be. <laughs> Woo, that was a close call. Love it. Got any other embarrassing stories? Perfect. Can you do any impressions? Like, say, a cowboy? How you doing, partner? Any others? Keep rolling, Angelo. But it's time to take out the garbage. Yeah, use that. Oh, put that there. Hey, we can probably use the part where he shouts, look out. Hey, isn't there a scene like that in Son of Mudman? Yeah, yeah, I, I remember that. 
It's gonna take a while to find it, though. In fact, everything's gonna take a while. <sighs> what you got, sir? You know that guy Mudman squishes between his toes and Son of Mudman? Yup, my dad. <laughs> and they don't really use mud. It's chocolate. Serious? Delicious. Or that scene in Amazon Barbecue where Piranha Chef spears alien sloth? Woo, that was a close call. Awesome. That's also him in a chainsaw fight. You can only see him from the back, though. Your dad was in Splatterfest? It's time to take out the garbage. Awesome. <laughs> and that's him, doing a flip on a horse in Zombie Zoo. How you doing, partner? Amazing. Unfortunately, with the motion blur, that's tech talk for rubber face, when you freeze frame, you can't really make out it's him, but it's him. Give me that. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. Did your dad play a giant gob of chewed gum in that or something? <laughs> Dude, your dad is totally amazeballs. OMG, your dad is, like, famous. This makes you famous once removed or something. Why were you keeping his job a secret all this time? Because he just made it up. Well, my dad is modest. I guess that's where I get it from. Wait a minute. Modest? You? Ha! Show me some more of your dad getting clobbered. <laughs> Ugh, you're all stupid. Since my dear niece's orthodontist appointment falls on the same day as our annual career day... Can you believe the waiting list is three months? I've decided to move it up to next week. Next week? Did he stutter next week? And I absolutely insist you invite your father, Angelo, to talk about his career as a stuntman. Yes, Tracy told me all about it. In detail. Of course she did. You know, your dad and Mr. Foot used to be friends when they were kids. <laughs> so this whole stuntman thing is news to me. Well, my dad's stuntman career was years after you knew him. Hmm. I remember your dad as being a bit of a klutz. I just can't imagine him being a stuntman. So either your dad's lying or you are. Ange, man, maybe you should just come clean to everyone before it's too late. I have a better idea. This ought to be good. Really? Those were his exact words? Klutz? Word for word. Hmm. I'll tell you what, Angelo. I'll do it. You will? It's our turn to teach Mr. Owen Julius Foot a lesson. Yes! Julius? Weird. And that, my friends, is how Operation Fake Stuntman was born. <laughs> We'll speed it up in post-production. Ah! I was wondering where our mattress went. Oh! Ah! Uh, how about we just skip this one, Dad? Mom says my bike's gotta last me until my next birthday. Well, 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 if it isn't our stuntman of the year. A big year for both of us, eh, Owen? Or should I say, teacher of the year? Teacher of the... Yeah! <laughs> settle down, settle down. Maybe we should get started. Your history, Angelo. Oh, what's that? You want an autograph, Tracy? Okay, I'll see what I can do. What? Th that's not what I said. Now, class, as you know, each year we have one or two parents come and tell us a little about the jobs they do. This year we have Angelo's father. Yeah! Who, if you haven't heard already, has been named Stuntman of the Year. So please give him a warm welcome. <laughs> this ought to be rich. Mr. Foote, class, thank you for inviting me today. I prepared a presentation about my illustrious career. <laughs> him back in the day. You believe any of this? Not a single word. Then do something about it. Never mind. I will. <gasps> I think it would be a fantastic idea if you gave us a live demonstration of one of your big stunts. Oh, like that clip Angelo showed us where you jump over a car on a bicycle. I, uh, no, mm, uh. Flutters. Mr. K almost bought it trying that one in practice. Quick, think of something. He'd, um... Need a car. Oh, well, too bad. Maybe next time. I'm sure my uncle wouldn't mind loaning his car for the stunt. 
Maybe it isn't such a... Great idea, you say? Fantastic. We'd... Oh, shoot. We... Oh, we'd also need a bike. Mm. Maybe next career day. Oh, don't be silly. He can use mine. Now, everyone to the yard for a real live movie stunt performed by none other than Angelo's dad. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Angelo, help. <laughs> I'm sending this straight to that web show, Idiots Falling on Camera. Come on, do it already. Show us your stuntman skills. I knew he was a fraud. How about a big hand for Angelo's dad? Oh, oh, oh man, I hope he's okay. Totally blue. Like, yeah, he bit at hard. What are you talking about? That was the stunt. Have a look for yourself. My dad did it perfectly. Check out the scene in Bad Rad Biker Beavers. Thank you. Oh. That was awesome. Thank you. Oh, thanks, oh. Dad. Anything for you, son. Now, could you get me an ice pack? What? He's not a stuntman. Stop! Stop that! Stop clapping! Stop it! Ah! So, uh, what's all this I hear about a Teacher of the Year award, Owen? Oh, <laughs> that. Well, after I filled in for Miss Perla's class one day, she called me Teacher of the Year. And Tracy just exaggerated. <laughs> you know how kids are. Yep, I do. I do. Ow! You liked this episode. It's the best Angelo rules 